Harrison Ford is an absolute legend. He's played some iconic characters over the span of his wonderful career. Characters like Han Solo and Indiana Jones are two of the most legendary characters he's ever played. Not a lot of actors have been lucky enough to play as many iconic roles as him. In this video, we'll talk about every franchise Harrison Ford has been a part of and we'll rank those franchises. So let's dive straight in. Starting with Jack Ryan at number four. First up, Harrison Ford appeared in two Jack Ryan movies. Alec Baldwin played the role of Jack Ryan before Harrison Ford took it over. He appeared in two of Jack Ryan's movies, Patriot Games, which was released in 1992, and Clear and Present Danger, which was released in 1994. Despite just being part of two movies, Ford really took the most out of this character and made it his own. These two movies are based on the novels of Tom Clancy and were basically the building blocks of Jack Ryan's character. Jack Ryan is an ex-Marine and a CIA analyst turned history professor. While both movies have provided the audience with loads of action and thrillers, they received mixed reviews from critics. Patriot Games especially wasn't very well received by the critics. They didn't like the fact that the creators changed some parts of the movie as compared to Tom Clancy's book. The critics suggested that they should have stuck with the original source material and shouldn't have improvised. Maybe they were right. They already had great material in Tom Clancy's book. There's no need to alter it, but they still did it, and look what happened. Up next, Harrison Ford was the perfect fit to play Jack Ryan. A man with the skills of Harrison Ford was the best choice to play Jack Ryan. Plus, Ford is the only actor to have played this role twice. Others who have also played the role are Alec Baldwin, Ben Affleck, and Chris Pine. Patriot Games wasn't his best performance as Jack Ryan, but thankfully he got another chance and proved why he was one of the best actors out there. The third installment of the franchise, Clear and Present Danger, depicts the story of Ryan's patriotism and what he does after he finds out the U.S. government's involvement in the Colombian drug war. Jack joins hands with John Clark and works to uncover the truth about this conspiracy. Clear and Present Danger perfectly depicts how powerful Jack Ryan's character is. Coming up, Jack Ryan isn't Ford's best character. Even though Ford's work as Jack Ryan was great, it wasn't his best work. He really couldn't display his best acting skills through those roles. This just shows how much he had to offer at the time. Apart from this, he has played many more iconic characters, and we're going to be talking about them as this video continues. At number three, Indiana Jones. Now, this franchise has been around for a long time. Indiana Jones has been around since 1981. Although it's not one of those franchises that releases movies every two or three years, it's still an iconic franchise. A total of four movies have been released until now, with the first one being released in 1981. Harrison Ford has played Indiana Jones in all four of those movies. There aren't a lot of movies that are as good as the entire Indiana Jones series in this action-adventure genre. Indiana Jones' character really reflects who Harrison Ford truly is, a man full of charm and charisma. Ford was able to challenge himself in this role to take the best out of himself, and he did it to perfection. The whip and the hat will be in our hearts and minds forever. Many movies have tried to copy the story and concept of Indiana Jones, but they couldn't be as successful at it. They were just ridiculous compared to Indiana Jones. Also, who can forget the opening scene of Raiders of the Lost Ark in which Ford runs from a big rolling boulder? That will always be remembered as one of the most iconic scenes in Hollywood history. Ford stepped up and created an unforgettable character for us. What's more, Raiders of the Lost Ark is the best movie in this franchise. There's some close competition between Raiders of the Lost Ark and The Last Crusade, but Raiders of the Lost Ark just edges it out. The best thing about this movie, and why it's the best Indiana Jones movie of all time, is its filmmaking. The filmmaking of this installment is out of this world. The story and action of every movie is great, but the filmmaking is not the same level as this one. Marion Ravenwood's character totally complements Indiana Jones, and the chemistry between the two is so good to watch. To this day, this movie can be enjoyed by anyone who hasn't seen it. Despite being released in 1981, this movie doesn't feel old. It has the right amount of action, adventure, and human interaction. If you can find the right balance between these three things, then you can create a masterpiece, just like this one. Following up, there's also the fifth installment of Indiana Jones ready to be released. Indiana Jones fans can get excited again, as there's a fifth installment of the franchise set to be released in June of next year. Harrison Ford will again be taking up the role of Indiana Jones. This one is supposed to be the final installment of the series. We just can't wait to see Ford holding that whip and wearing that hat once again for one last time. Next, at number two, Blade Runner. Coming up, the original Blade Runner is one of the best science fiction movies to date. The first Blade Runner movie was released in 1982, in which Harrison Ford took up the role of Rick Deckard for the first time, and it was an epic entry into the sci-fi genre. It really set the bar too high for all the sci-fi movies to come after it. The movie's based on the novel Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep by 
Philip K. Dick. Even though Ford's performance as Rick isn't the best, it still is very solid. His performance in 2017's Blade Runner 2049 was much better than this one. Deckard's job in this first movie was to hunt and eliminate machines called replicants. That's why Deckard was called Blade Runner. However, things took a huge turn when Deckard falls for one of the replicants named Rachel, and he runs off with her. Considering the depth of Ford's character and how well he managed it, it was a solid performance. Not to mention, Rick Deckard's comeback was a great one. Rick Deckard's comeback in Blade Runner 2049 was even better. In this installment, Ryan Gosling plays Blade Runner while Rick Deckard's still in hiding. After many years away from the spotlight, Rick Deckard finally gets found in his hiding spot, which was a post-apocalyptic Las Vegas. Ford's performance in this movie is even more entertaining and exciting than the first one. A third installment of the Blade Runner series was also announced a while back, but this time it won't be a movie. Blade Runner will return to our screens in the form of a TV show. While the release date hasn't been confirmed yet, it was announced that the story will take off 50 years after where it left off in Blade Runner 2049. The new show is called 2099, and it'll be released on Amazon Prime. At number 1, Star Wars. First, there's no doubt that this is the best Harrison Ford franchise. It goes without saying that Star Wars is the best Harrison Ford franchise. None of the other franchises even come close to how big Star Wars is. And in his biggest franchise, Ford has played his best role ever, Han Solo. Star Wars is right up there with Hollywood's highest grossing franchises. Harrison Ford and all the other actors have played a huge part in its success. After doing some of his best work as Han Solo, it's not a surprise that Han Solo is one of the most beloved Star Wars characters. He was a part of the original Star Wars movie in 1977 and also made appearances in the latest trilogy. An actor automatically becomes special when they're a part of your franchise right from the beginning. Finally, series 1977 is Harrison Ford's best work. The first Star Wars movie was released back in 1977, and it's easy to say that it's Ford's most extraordinary work in the Star Wars franchise. The movie was simply jaw-dropping. The best thing about the movie was its casting. Every actor who was a part of this movie became a superstar. It was just a sensational casting job, and the best of the lot was, of course, Harrison Ford as Han Solo. A New Hope has a great structure that oozes simplicity. Ford's Han Solo is an arrogant pirate who only cares about his money. He has no interest in the conflict between the Galactic Empire and the Rebel Alliance. But as the movie goes on, Han learns to do the right thing and helps Luke in saving the day. Han Solo is probably the funniest and sexiest character in the movie. That's a wrap for this video. Which one of Harrison Ford's franchises is the best according to you guys? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this, and we'll see you in the next one. The question I, I was asked was, uh, all right, do you have the intention of rebooting every successful franchise you've ever done? And I said, you bet your ass I have.